All right, I've been making claims that giants were 75, 90 feet or more, and I have bigger than that, so it's, there is no claim to it. It's a fact, and the ones I have are DNA tested. But this was down in uh, Peru, or I believe somewhere, wherever the Olmecs are, and it's obviously a molded head. You see the fracture here, that line here from the molding where they're forcing the stuff in, and that right there is a giant's hand was pushing that in. This thing's like five feet tall. These fingers, the width of the guy's hand was about five feet. And I made one just to show it. Here it is right here. I just made one. It was the same. You see that? That's the same structure. It's the same thing. It's nothing. There's no difference. There's no question this is the guy's finger. Finger, finger. Now, you're, you're looking at one, two, three fingers and maybe a little more I figure I'm given five inches now that's I, that's a big it's actually I think this guy anyway it's he's at least 75 feet 72 75 feet tall maybe higher than that so and these guys were alive whoever pushed that in there was alive whenever the Olmecs were here and they say the Olmecs were here 3,000 years ago now if you believe all of this stuff then, then there was giants here 3,000 years. I don't know if they're right or wrong because I don't think they're right about much at all. Because this has nothing to do with grant, with uh, basalt. And the first thing out of everybody's mouth is, oh, it's basalt. And it's not basalt. This is concrete and it's made from the, and it's, it's a mineral concrete and it's made from the residue that's left over from mining gold case closed. They use this everywhere all over the world and they use put red into it to make the red granite. They put black, you know, silicon or something into uh, silicon dioxide in there for black and white. They just bleach it out. That's alchemy. This is it's fully understood. Electrum. This has absolutely no metals in it. None. Zero. I guarantee you there's no metals in it. Well, it may be a trace here and there, but not what is in the basalt and the, the, the what they call uh, orogenies which are the mountains that are right around where these things, where all this granite is found. Granite is not a natural stone. It's the tailings left over from producing gold processing manna. And I have papers on this. I have videos on it. Anyway, that's, that's what's going on. All right, look this one up. Geopolymer Institute says, are the pyramids made out of concrete? Yes, they are. And he, they prove it, and they show the different analysts and everything. They show the different crystalline structure. Crystal, this is basalt. This is, this is not basalt. This is like your granular stuff. Anyway, look it up. They have all the documentation on this. It's very, very well done. The fossil shells, and they know everything about this, and it's just being ignored. Totally ignored. Head. This is the whole story about granite and versus basalt and these are the different minerals that are inside of granites and there's no there are no metals there's no metals in here well there's, there's iron a couple little things but there's no gold there's no no platinum group metals uh, and these are the elements that are in granite is this and there's, there's no metals now man is a monatomic gold and what they do with the manna is they extract all of the platinum group elements, which is the gold, the copper, the silver, the platinum, the this or that. There's rhodium, and there's a bunch of different ums in there. Anyway, um, and that's that's a granular granite. Granite. That, that, that's not natural. It's not granular. The thing this the earth doesn't spit out little bits and pieces of this. In volcanoes they do, but and they they, they, they solidify, but they solidify as crystals. And anyway, anyway, the, all the metals in the platinum group are gone from granites, they're gone. And guess what? Sitting right next to them is, is piles of what they call erog erogenies, which is the mountains that contain the gold. So they're digging the gold, they're crushing it up, they're throwing us into piles, and then what would we do with those piles? Well, I'd sell it and make some concrete out of it and maybe make some sphinxes and, who knows, some, you know, pyramids and that kind of thing, old mech heads. Anyway, anyway, the research is it's unimpeachable. You can't, you, there's no other reason for this. Anyway, uh, the same metals are removed in the manner processing. Another string is, is the crystallography. We know that the, their granites are amorphous. That means they're little pieces crunched together. And, and all of the other stuff, natural stone is crystallized. It's just a natural stone with crystals. It doesn't, it doesn't come in little bits. <laughs> it's just normal. This is like a snowball. You're pushing together, and there are little cracky little things that are pushing together. Anyway, um, 
I got the conclusion. It's all this business. Anyway, the history is a construction. It's ancient texts, religion. It's all, it looks like it's all true. Aliens could be true. I mean, I, you can't dispute that 100%. UFOs can't possibly dispute that anymore. Anyway, it all makes sense when you accept that the giants that I'm talking about are huge. These guys are 75 to 90 feet tall. They're enormous. And uh, not only that, the guy that I'm going to show you the head that made, he was 75 to 90 feet tall, and that was only 3,000 years ago. So here's, here, hold on a second, I'm going to show you the Olmec head.